welcome back to my channel. If you've been following me for a while, then you know that I'm a huge fan of cupping. I've done some different videos on facial cupping, and I thought now is the prime time to really focus on the body and what cupping can do for our body. So if it's your first time tuning in, welcome. I am Dana Waldy. I am a licensed esthetician and makeup artist. And today I'm just gonna hop right in and show you how to do body cupping on your legs to specifically treat cellulite. So I'm gonna show you the rituals that I kind of go through um, and how I do body cupping. This is, you know, to be honest, it's something that I've recently started doing in the past. I've been testing it now for about, I would say a month or two. And I find, I feel like I found a good rhythm and a flow on how I properly do body cupping on my legs for the best results. So let's hop right in. I'm gonna go over some products that I specifically use and how I do body cupping. So before you start cupping on your legs, one thing that I always do, and I usually set a specific day where I do this, um, so I take a bath first because it's really important that you warm up your skin and your muscles before you start working on the legs with the cups. So I'm here in front of my bathtub. I did not take a bath and I'm not gonna be in the bath, but I just kinda wanted to show you what I do. So I always take a nice um, bubble bath. I usually do Epsom salts. Once I get out, I then I foam roll with a foam roller for probably a good, you can do it as long as you want, but at least 10 minutes I would give yourself to warm up. So I do some foam rolling on the front of my legs, I do it on the side, on my hip flexors, I do it on the back, even on my butt. It's a nice way to just kind of start getting the flexibility in the muscles so it's not so intense once you start working with the, the cups. Because the first time I started working with the cups, it was really intense. Um, and I use the plastic silicone cups. There are cups that can be a little bit stronger, but even those cups were really intense for me in some areas. It felt a little like thick and hard to push through, and that's why it's so important to really warm up your body and the muscles before we hop in. You can use any oil you want. This is just one that I happen to be using and loving right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and massage this all over my left leg here and you want to make sure that you have an ample amount of oil because you really need a nice slip with the cups once you start really working um, you do not want it to be pulling on the skin especially dry skin you absolutely must incorporate an oil okay so what we're going to do and you're probably now that my legs been a little stretched out you're not going to see as much as like the dimples and the cellulite that i do have on my leg but i kind of need to be in this position to get the facial cups the, I'm sorry, the body cup's going. So what you wanna do is you wanna squeeze it and then you're gonna just set it on your skin. It's gonna suction right on your leg. You're gonna see it, it's not gonna fall off. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna start working that cup back and forth, up and down on the skin. This definitely feels a little sticky for me. Um, there are some areas and it, it's always for me right here on this side is where I start feeling it a little bit more. It's one of those, it's not painful, but you know, it's a good, it's a good hurt. Um, you're, you're, you're gonna feel it a little bit, especially if you have a lot more fascia, which I do, I'm really trying to get in there and break up the fascia. So the way our body works is we have our muscle, the fascia lays on top of that, and then we have our lymph right on top of that. So the fascia connects to the muscle and when you have a lot of that fascia that's kind of like stagnant, and that's what I'm trying to break up right now, the fascia is what actually causes the dimpling in the legs because it's attaching to the muscles. So we wanna loosen that up so it looks, the appearance is really soft and smooth. You'll see here, I also work it horizontally and vertically with the cups. I'm going up and down, side to side, back and forth. So I kind of work it like a patch grid here and you're just gonna keep doing this, you know, and you could definitely do this every day. Usually my routine is I will do it at night in bed after I take a bath. I'm usually one that likes to shower or bath at night, so I'll take a nice bath, I'll get in bed when I'm watching TV or whatever, watching videos on YouTube, on my laptop, and I will sit there and do cupping on myself. Um, and I just feel like I'm saving time. 
Now, if after this you get a little bit of bruising, that's totally normal. I did, like I said, my first few sessions, it felt really intense. I have visible redness on my legs. That is normal too. We're bringing blood to the surface. We're detoxifying. We're working the lymph. Make sure that you're really, really hydrated before you do this treatment. And then afterwards, you want to make sure that you continuously drink a lot of water. And then what you can do is you can let the cup sit on your leg if you want, and you could do more kind of targeted treatments. I can take the other two cups, let it just sit along the leg, and really maybe in those more sticky areas, I'll let the cup set on that area for a couple of minutes. You can work around it with one of the other cups while those are setting. You kind of just, you know, intuitively, you just want to play around, work in the areas that you feel need the most work. For today's video, I'm just gonna demo here on the side, the front of my leg. I would usually do the back of my legs. You can definitely do the buttocks. I'm certainly not doing that on camera today, but those are the areas that you can work to help flush out the dimples and the cellulite in the leg area. All right, once I get done with the cupping, what I do next usually is I actually use a gua sha. This is also from Laura Essentials. This is, it's like in the shape of a lips. And I really like this one for the body. And I'm gonna shoot different videos on different ways to use cupping on different parts of the body and then also the gua sha. But what I do is I then just take it and I just flush everything out. I work it back up towards the lymph. Since we've moved a lot of fluids, a lot of toxins around, a lot of blood, stagnant blood has been moved around, I take the gua sha and I just work it up towards my heart um, and I do that whole area. And I just push and move everything 